It is the first day of school for even more of our districts today. About two dozen of them, including Wiley, McKinney, Ennis, and Lovejoy, back to school time comes with some apprehension, maybe a little stress for many kids and also for some adults. We're joined by our medical expert, Dr. David Winter, to discuss this timely topic. Hey, good morning. Good to see you again. Good morning, Kara. Good to be with you. Well, let's talk about, is it common for kids and parents to feel a lot of stress at the beginning of the school year? We know there, there's some. It's very, very common. You see, our bodies, like consistency, and tend to pump out stress hormones when there's a change. And the change doesn't have to be a negative change. Kids that are excited about school, they can still experience a stress effect. In fact, adults that get married, buy a new house, get a promotion, even those bodies are under stress. Our bodies don't like a change in our routine, and when we change that, they tend to put out this fight or flight phenomenon, which pumps adrenaline and other hormones out into our bloodstream, Kara. That's a stress phenomenon. So what do you recommend the parents do to try to lessen the stress and really prep kids for going back to school? We've got a lot of them going back in our big districts next, uh, next week. Yeah, preparation I think is important. A lot of kids now are probably sleeping late. You wanna change their sleep habits, go to bed earlier so they'll be awake and alert earlier in the morning when they have to go back to school. Also, it's good to talk to kids about good nutrition, lots of fruits and vegetables. Exercise helps to minimize stress. You might want to go for walks with your kid, get them involved in sports activities as they probably already are, and be alert to their stress. If they have any symptoms, want to talk about it, lend them a sympathetic ear. Okay, so what are some signs that might indicate kids are having trouble coping with that stress or not really you know, going with it as, as, as well as maybe their parents thought they would after a few days? Yeah, some kids will become withdrawn, quieter, maybe more irritable. You can also see kids that have trouble concentrating. Maybe they're forgetting things. They may have problems with their memory. We talk about that with the kids. And I think anytime these things are apparent, talk with your children, uh, get help if you need to, but be sure that you let them know you're excited about school, you wanna help them, and you're there for them. Okay, so I know when my nephews go back to school, I feel like they've got a cold or they're sick within the first couple of weeks. So any suggestions on how to avoid any sort of those viruses that are going around? Yeah, there are a lot of viruses out there. There's a lot of COVID out there right now. Fortunately, most of the COVID cases, at least with these strains, are pretty mild. But I think it's good to talk to kids about good hygiene, frequent hand washing. If you're gonna cough or sneeze, do it into the crook of your elbow here. Don't share utensils. Don't share even pencils and pens. You can spread germs that way also. Kids are gonna tolerate these viruses pretty well, but you gotta think about parents and grandparents who may have a weakened immune system, maybe chronic liver, kidney, heart disease, those folks don't do well with viruses. You don't want those kids bringing them home. So good hygiene for kids can help keep the folks at home also healthy. Okay, thank you, Dr. Winter. Good to see you again. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Kara. Bye-bye.